I guess I chose to go to Norway um, to record the album mainly because of uh, the producer Nick Terry. He'd be someone that I kind of wanted to work with for a while on different projects, but never really been able to sort anything out. And on this one, the stars kind of aligned, so we got a chance to work together. Nick found a studio, uh, Velvet Recording, which is um, this traditional studio with a massive live room. It was in Skyderberg, about 40 minutes away from Oslo. Because of the uh, great sounding live room they had there meant we could record all together as a band, which really helped give the record a more of a live vibe, which is what I was um, interested in capturing when I discussed how we were going to record the album with Nick. He also um, did some really cool stuff with amping up things like drum kits and vocals putting um, distortion on them from like using some kind of old reel-to-reel tape machines to give it a really cool sounding vibe which um, I think has really helped create a kind of unique sound for the record. I think I wanted to do something a little different in uh, regards to approach from my last record. This time round, I was keen to get my backing band into the studio with me. Um, so I was fortunate to kind of be able to put that all together and get my double bass player, um, Raf Ruocco, and my drummer, Eric Young, all in the same room together. I, I hate the question when I get asked, um, what is the album about? But because um, sometimes you, you write a song and it's kind of not until you look back, sometimes like even years later, you go, oh yeah, that was about that. Um, at the time, it's kind of like, kind of quite a... Uh, just a pouring out of consciousness via music really um, but I wanted to capture some kind of um, maybe some sense of isolation um, the album was called City of Streets because a lot of the songs are written while I was in London so I guess I wanted to capture the kind of essence of that city I think it's something that I guess I'll look back on in my, in my old years and go ah oh, yes I remember those days, um, and that was kind of captured through this record. I never found 